Hey, Chris. Thanks so much for taking the time out to speak with me the other day. This is Viola with Gwinnett SP SEO. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you could do today to help bring in more customers to your business. So I will keep this short, but if by the end of this video, you like what you heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that I can help your business with, then shoot me a message back and we can chat. But if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips that I'm giving you and go ahead and put them into action. The only thing that I ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things that we'll be going over are contents, backlinks, and citations. So first up is content, and that's pretty much anything that you can see here on your home page. Um, it does include the words, but it also includes the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. So Google wants to see at least 1,500 words on the home page of your site, um, but within those words, you have an option or an opportunity to integrate certain keywords that would that clients are searching for when they're looking for your services. So what, for example, if you wanted to, let's try to save this photo right here. You want to save these photos as a keyword that you're looking to be searched for or searched as. Um, and I'll, I'll dive deeper into that so you could get a full explanation. But basically, uh, Google doesn't care how pretty the pictures are, how nice this dumpster looks, you know, but they will read the back end of it and see what that says. And they'll put the right client in front of your site based on the information, based on the content, especially the content that's on the home page of your website. The next thing that I want to talk to you about are citations. So when you go to Google and when people type in Junk Removal Georgia, they always bypass the ads, whether that's because of ad blockers or just bad experiences. But right down here, we call this section the map pack. And this is basically anywhere on the web where your business name, address, and phone number are listed in a directory. And the way to win in this area is you just want to find out what citations your client is in, I'm sorry, your uh, number one competitor is in. And you want to put yourself in those same citations and then you want to put another 20 30 or 40 on top of that so that way you can ensure that you are completely far surpassing them when it comes to um being in the number one spot so that way by the time they notice that they're no longer in number one you it, it's going to take them a very long time to catch up to you <laughs> you know so if you go down here to the organic section um this has everything to do with backlinks and the way backlinks work is there's a website out there that has a link that's linking back to your site. So it's pushing power to your site and potentially driving traffic to it. Now, keep in mind, all backlinks are not created equal. So let's say, for example, you did a job for a pizza hut or just a pizza store, and they decided that they were going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours, but their link is going to be all about pizza, right? So it's not going to be very helpful. You're going to want to get links from other um, junk removal companies that send something back to your site, and then so, that will pretty much send a signal to Google that this is the industry that you're in, and doing this will make you a lot more powerful as well as unique when it comes to getting ranked on Google and getting closer to the number one page, the first page and the number one spot. And to put a little visual representation on top of this, this is a little tool that I use called Arefs. I put your website in there, junkgone.com. And this basically says that you guys have 50 websites linking back to you 463 times using 141 keywords. And you're getting uh, an organic traffic of about 27. I took one of your competitors and I put them in the same tool and this is standupguys.biz. I'm just going to their overall. And what this is saying is they have 345 websites linking back to them 7,100 times. And they're using 5,000 keywords. And this is giving them an organic traffic value of about 22,000 per month. So let's take a look at some of these keywords. So you can see what I'm talking about here. So these are all different keywords that can be used. For example, Junk Removal Atlanta, 700 people look for that per month. Um, they're, they get 30 out of that 700 per month and they're in the number seven spot. You see how that works? So, you know, this is how you pretty much will get those keywords that you want to put on the back end of your pages there. And let me go back to the overview. Let's take a look at the backlinks. So, 
again, the same thing with the citations. I would do the same type of strategy here. I'll go down the list and basically put myself in these same exact um, listings that my competitor is in. And then I'll add another 20, 30, 40 on top of that. So that way it will be very hard to catch up with me and I'll be able to start ranking um, down here in the organic section as well as up here in the map pack. So that's pretty much all that I have for you today. Um, you know, once again, you just want to go ahead and get this website upwards to 1500 words, Chris. So that way you do make sure that you are at least appeasing uh, Google with their requirements. You want to get in as many um, directories as your competitors so you can win in the map pack. And organically, you want to just get as many backlinks as your competitor, your top competitor has, and add more on top of that. So that's pretty much all I have for you. If you would like to know how we can help you with this and you feel that um, you have a few questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, my name and number should be attached at this uh, on this email. But other than that, thank you so much. I do hope you're able to put some of these tips and tricks to work so that way you can start making some more revenue from your online presence. All right, with that, have a wonderful day and I'll speak with you soon.